teach them how to beat it. Wow. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's honestly this is the best Smash year I've had. I'm like 58 and no, it's great. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, getting into the match now, we have, uh, this is going to be Sweet Law, Sweet, Sweet Lou. Lou or Sweet, Sweet Lou? Lou? Sweet Lou, Sweet Lou versus Sweet. Projo, Toon Link versus Zelda. Now, all right, so give me some hot tips on this matchup. What do you, what do you think, what are we in for here? So, I can mainly speak from the Zelda perspective, having fought a lot of top Zelda myself. Uh, Zelda, one of her prime moves in this matchup is going to be that neutral B, not only to reflect, but also to break out a lot of those combos. Uh, that said, Tink has a little bit of tricks on his own. He's got his own up B that he commonly uses as a shield. So it's all about who does the best approach here. Like, who is willing to push forward and who is willing to hard commit to every out of shield option. That's really what it comes down to. It's always fun when you mention up B at a shield and then immediately the up B at a shield happens. Uh, <laughs> but here, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really big though. Um, oh. One thing does, I guess, one of the important parts has to do with overall kill power that Zelda has, it feels like every one of her setups uh, is gonna try and lead to a kill. But like Toon Link also has a lot of kill options. One good confirm off of a bomb or a boomerang, and that's gonna be a forward air. Oh, but Zelda, just her individual moves hit so hard. We see there the forward smash actually taking the first stock, and this is where things become much, much trickier. Being down a stock, even though Sweet Lou is at 126%, how are you actually gonna kill him at this point? He has no jump, that might be it, but no, even now it's not kill. Oh, goes for the dash attack, doesn't quite get anything. Ooh, that was a nice forward air. Uh, just recognizing the forward smash and that forward air is beat it out. And I like that baiting out the neutral beat. We did say how it's going to be super important in this matchup in general, but it's a tool that if the Toon Link is very careful because he has so many angles on all of his projectiles and so many different kinds of projectiles. If he baits it out, he's a character that can punish that small misstep very hard. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And it, you see here, Sweetly take the more defensive approach, setting up that, that Phantom Knight there, just keeping Projo in disadvantage. Okay. These tiny little boomerangs are just nickel and diming uh, Sweetly, but that's Pretty important because once he gets to the point where like bomb, oh, just oh, oh, I will say that the difference between these two characters in terms of being trapped at the ledge, like so far, Sweet Lou, uh, I think both kills he got were they originated from ledge play, um, and now we're kind of seeing that, like. It feels that when uh, Sweet Lou is on the ledge, it's not that bad. He can up B into the center of the stage. In general, those traps just don't seem to be as effective, and that's what that's like the big contributing factor to this huge lead. But as and I say, that the lead confirms. pretty much evaporates. Yeah, those bomb confirms that you were talking about earlier, just nailing that stock. Right. Looking pretty even. Let's see what she does at the ledge. Ooh, nice jump. That's pretty much what you want to do. Um, that said, the Zeldas typically like to read that and go for the, the Nair to set him off. So we'll see if Projo keeps going for that jump off in that ledge. It seems to be working. Um, but we'll see if he keeps maintaining that option. Oh, this is looking pretty even. Percents. Yeah, we're at the end of the stock here. Oh, so that up beats in the middle of the stage had been really working out for Sweet Lou early on. Oh, a super deep edge guard. This is the point where one tiny misstep from either player can do it. Again, he shields it. That up B, is that enough to kill though? No. Although it's the safe out of shield option, it's not quite able to take the stock, and that means that Sweet Lou might be able to get a kill. One forward smash, one forward or back air could definitely do it. But in the end, the forward air connects, and that's going to be Projo taking game one.
So that was honestly a really close game between those two. But what adjustments is Sweet Lou going to have to make to this game too? I think one of the big things is that Projo, he's a player who's been around for a long, long time. And that means that he's able to pick up on habits. And as a Zelda player, it can be kind of easy to... Not necessarily flowchart, but when, when an option seems to be working, to just, you know, be like, okay, this option works. Because Zelda's tools, when they work, they work hard. Um, so, okay, we're going to have a stage switch for one. But the other thing is mixing up those, especially the panic defensive options, are going to be big. Thank you, Venya, for the raid. Um, right. Oh, shoot. Sweetly yeah, and as down. Yeah, and uh, like this kind of all started with another upbeat to the center of the stage. That uh, well, he actually he does upbeat that time it works out for him, but uh, the percents haven't been exactly equivalent. Toon Link's punish game is honestly really solid. Off of just a single stray hit, he can convert into a lot of damage, if not a kill. It definitely like Toon Link has pretty much all the tools you would need to cover landings, and even like when you're trying to approach from like a more uh, upper space. Um, he has that boomerang that he can just angle, and as soon as he does that, all of a sudden you're put in disadvantage, so it can be really scary. Another thing to note is that Toon Link ha is, as a projectile character, extremely mobile. Like, he's, projectiles are very quick to throw out, and he has so many angles, whereas Zelda, when she's charging up that phantom, she is stuck in place for quite a bit. Projo really taking advantage of that by, you know, double jumping all the way on the other side of the stage and just throwing out these very safe projectiles that aren't really contested. And then, you know, they do a little bit of damage here and there, but for the most part, he's not really getting hit. As we see right there, tries to go in and commit for an actual approach and gets punished for it. Maybe just hanging back and be playing a little bit more passively might be the right call here. Just barely gets that F tilt there. Oh, the upbeat of stage actually working out. For a while, Projo was really punishing it, but he's been getting a little bit projectile happy. But Zelda's a character where it's been this way for actually years now. If you get two projectile happy, she can up from anywhere on stage. And that move is so strong with the second hit connecting. finding little projectiles here and there gets a grab for the kill that is something that when you are like a projectile character that's able to apply a lot of pressure from long range and you also have a tech grab that has like a kill throw attached to it it's honestly let's the you know just the character of toon link kill pretty easily but at the very least able to consistently strike fear into the opponent yeah, certainly, certainly. I think any character that's able to condition the shields a lot and have a really powerful kill throw is really good. Um, you saw there a lot. Like, Projo was pretty much staying on the side plat, doing a lot of downward uh, downward boomerangs and a lot of bomb pressure. And then as soon as Sweet Lou committed more to shield as opposed to neutral B, that's where she died for it. And we're seeing right now Zelda, you know, opting for these back throws just to get Projo off stage, then it's actually a pretty good call. You know, instead of setting up for like a 50-50 or a juggle, just pack on damage and then also, uh, you know, try and actually get this, like, like into those ledge trap situations. Carries the first hit, but doesn't carry the second hit. Ooh, that was a nice dash back F smash kill. Back to even. Oh, catches the jump. It just feels like every time Projo's in his vantage state, he just keeps it up. Bates the neutral B with the with the Zare. Game 
Oh, the upper trade. That's gonna take it. Oh. That last minute of Projo was basically keeping Sweet Lou in disadvantage, not allowing her to land. And whenever she did land, Projo would always win the trade. Yeah, that's a winning trade, and then that's a winning trade. Perfect, perfect play from Projo. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm really impressed. <laughs>